What's going on, my PT peeps? From Walking Dead family and my fighters. I'm one eye Ryle, son is PT, and I'm back to talk about The Walking Dead Season 10. Spoiler warning for The Walking Dead show, comics, all that stuff, but definitely spoiler warning for The Walking Dead Season 10, Episode 5. But what does it mean? If you don't know what we're talking about, go watch Season 10, Episode 5. Come back, let me know your thoughts, post your comments below, all that good stuff. But Rosita caught a bug. It was a radio message between Dante and Sadiq, and it was a minor little moment of the episode. But before we get to it, guys, it's very important that you hit that subscribe button. And if you think you're subscribed already, definitely check because more and more people are getting unsubscribed for some reason, and I don't want you to miss out. So hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to get notifications. But like I said, Sadiq was on the radio with Dante, and he asked, how is Rosita? And Dante replied, she's all right. She caught a bug, but she'll be okay. That's what we got. Well... Does it mean that she actually caught a bug, like a live insect? Probably not, it probably means that she got sick, that she's not feeling well. She's a little under the weather, maybe she has an illness, a virus, maybe just some bacteria or something, maybe something she ate wasn't good. But more likely, it's probably that she had some of the bad water or the tainted water from the creek, potentially. And again, I don't know how big this creek is and how much of the water supply goes to Alexandria, or maybe some of the animals are drinking the contaminated water and they had some of the bad water or something, but clearly this being in the water supply is not good. And it's definitely part of Alpha and Gamma's plan. Well, Gamma was spotted by Aaron and Aaron needs to tell people what he saw. And then something needs to happen about this because this isn't good. The Whispers are fighting dirty. They're using tactics that are good to their advantage. They're using the surroundings, they're using nature, they're using walkers to their advantage for sure. But this is not a good thing. If they have tainted water, that will kill a lot of people potentially. But if Rosita gets sick, could she die? Yes, for sure. She's actually one of my picks to die this season. And I don't know if this is the way she goes out, but what if it is? What if she's drinking tainted water and more and more and she's getting sick? And she's not the only one that got sick. Take us back to season four of The Walking Dead when we lost a lot of people. But we haven't seen this scene yet. This is in the trailer from San Diego Comic-Con over the summer. And we see a nice moment with Father Gabriel and Rosita. I haven't seen this yet, so I don't think it's happened on the show. But I just wonder if she's doing okay. And if not, what are the consequences of this little bug that she caught? I personally feel that Rosita is going to die. And some people are worried that if she's drinking bad water or she's sick, what about the breast milk that she's giving baby Coco? A lot of people have brought up that question. So shout out to everybody that brought up the question. So it's pretty cool. But it is a good question that I don't have an answer for. I wish I could tell you. But will we get an answer next episode? I hope so. We just don't know yet. But baby Coco could die as well. Rosita and baby Coco could both die. Even though I feel like Rosita dies for various reasons, and Baby Coco lives, and Eugene is the one to take over caring for Baby Coco, I think it should happen. But these four people right here are connected, and the only connection to all these four people is Rosita. Well, Rosita and Baby Coco. And if Rosita dies, what's gonna happen with these three people? Relationships are gonna be strained, there'll probably be some problems, some fighting, some resentment, and it's not gonna be good. So I think that if Rosita dies, which I think she will, maybe not this way, but if Rosita dies, this could be the catalyst for these three people to come together, rally Alexandria, and fight against the Whispers. If she dies because of tainted water, that can build the case to be like, look, that is our reason to go fight the Whispers, because right now our group needs a reason. They need a reason to be like, look, this isn't right. We got to step up, take the Walker Horde out. And I think Daryl and Carol are going to try that next episode. But we're seeing more and more of a dynamic between Rosita and Eugene. And as we go into season 10, episode 6, we haven't lost anybody yet. We lost Margot and some Whispers and some Walkers and Brandon, but nobody of significance. When is the big major character death coming? Is it season 10, episode 6 or around the mid-season finale? Or does Rosita get sicker? and sicker and, and not just her a lot of people around the group and then aaron figures it out and sadiq figures it out because he's wondering why are so many people sick this doesn't make sense so it just is a thing that could be building for something major and just some other story arc that builds for the future of the whisperer war because i still think that the whisperer war could happen in the back half of season 10. The first half could be building it up, Silence the Whispers, and the back half of season 10 is the Whisper of War. So thank you guys for watching, and for those interested in my zombie apocalypse book series, I get 10 books available now. The link into all 10 books is in the description below to our Amazon storefront. I hope you pick up your copy today and join the fight, and as always, tell them, Daryl. Yo, we love you guys.